I'm a huge movie buff. There's no arguing that. I had planned to do a movie review, but during my research I found something much more interesting. At least to me. <laughs> there are quite a few unique tidbits that you may not know about your favorite movies. Here are a few of mine. As iconic as Darth Vader is, he only had 12 minutes of screen time in Star Wars. In Ghostbusters, the role of Peter Venkman was originally written for John Belushi. In the Rocky Horror Picture Show, wheelchair-bound Dr. Scott smashes through a wall. The only reason this happened was due to the fact that the production department forgot to put in a door. For its American release, the first 20 minutes of train spotting had to be redubbed to make the Scottish accents sound more coherent. You remember the scene in The Breakfast Club in which all the characters sit in a circle on the floor of the library and tell stories of why they're in detention? It wasn't scripted. Hughes told them all to ad-lib. In Beetlejuice, the reason Lydia's dress is red is due to an old poem saying, Married in red, better off dead. The first animated film to be nominated for an Oscar for Best Picture was Beauty and the Beast in 1991. You know, I always wanted to ride on the back of Falcor from NeverEnding Story. I found out that you can if you go to Bavaria Filmplatz in Munich, Germany. The Star Trek reboot had the longest running hiatus to date since the last motion picture seven years earlier. Tom Cruise, John Cusack, Jim Carrey, and Johnny Depp were all offered the role of the famous hooky-playing teen Ferris Bueller of Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Originally, the role of Uncle Fester in the Addams Family was offered to Anthony Hopkins, but he turned it down. Originally, the time machine in Back to the Future was to be a fridge and not a DeLorean. Good thing they decided against that, yes? In the 1989 version of Batman, it was the first adaptation to depict the Joker's origin story. The next time you watch Pulp Fiction, make sure you make a note of all the clocks. They're all stuck at 420. In the house on Haunted Hill, Marilyn Manson was actually considered for the role of the deranged Dr. Vonnegut. The car driven by Uncle Ben and Spider-Man it's none other than Sam Raimi's lucky Oldsmobile Delta 88. It's said that the car has made numerous cameo appearances in most of his movies. Well, that's it. Any obscure movie trivia that you know of? Well, be sure to share with me. I'd sure be happy to hear about it. So, if you like this episode, be sure to share, like, and comment. And if you haven't done that yet, be sure to subscribe. Till next time, I'll be seeing ya.